Hi, my name is Eva Constanteris. I am a data journalist, um, and I do a lot of data journalism training for Internews and the World Bank. I'm at MozFest because it's a different community for me. I work mostly with journalists in developing countries, so in Afghanistan and Myanmar and Kenya, and this is a really good opportunity to talk to technologists that are on the cutting edge, um, a, lot of, a lot of transparency work, and then link them up with the projects I work with, with journalists working on the ground in these countries under very difficult conditions with some of the latest tools being developed in newsrooms across the world. So my, my pathway is actually called data and impact. And really, the, it's a little bit tongue in cheek because we talk so much about how data is the solution to all of these problems in, in developing countries and across the world. And there's been a lot of focus on the supply side of data. And sometimes we lose sight of, well, who do we think is our audience for this data? And who's bridging that gap between data supply and citizen engagement? So just because you release data doesn't mean democracy just happens. You know, we still need those translators, whether it's NGOs or journalists, who can make sense of that data and explain to people why it's important for their lives, how they can make better decisions, and also to inform their vote so that they're voting based on evidence so that they're voting based on data that they can really elect officials that represent their interests. I think for me what I'm really trying to do is I brought in journalists you know working in Armenia, working in Kenya and in India, really doing grassroots data journalism. So for them it's a really great opportunity to meet hackers, all these great developers that are really willing to donate their time to work on meaningful projects. So for them to get to know each other and figure out, well, how can we apply technology being developed in Western countries and help these data journalists working very, very hard um, in countries where there is such a huge issue with corruption and transparency and that these tools can be really leveraged to make policy change and to really impact um, citizens and the audience they're trying to reach. I think our job has gotten a lot more interesting. Our job used to be to report what was happening when it was happening. Now with data, we can report why it's happening. What are the underlying causes? Why are people getting richer or poorer or sicker or well? And to really get to the bottom of those issues and try to help make things better, which I think is a very unique role for journalism. So while the media industry crisis was a catastrophe, <laughs> it was also a really good opportunity for us to think about what is it that we're producing? What's meaningful and valuable to our audience? Um, and how can we rethink of our roles as people who are really looking for solutions and, and help making our society a better place.